There's no problems. There's not a noise problem. There's nothing. We literally have no problems. In fact, had we had an eight foot privacy fence on the backside, nobody would have ever even known the animals were here. I guess that's where the frustration is, is that we literally are willing to pay. And I got this soda, Remy boy. Okay, so Tatum decided to give me 13 inch acrylic nails earlier. We have to get it, we have to get it done today. Why are you laughing? Yeah, it's <laughs> funny. <laughs> I hate that noise. How am I supposed to type? <laughs> How am I supposed to do this? I can't. Tatum, he's gonna Snapchat you and all the words. <laughs> <laughs> no, my hand. I got it. I got it. Are I you really taking a picture? No, no, take no, it. Put it back. No, no. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. Are my hands that good? <laughs> I've lost every ounce of respect that I have for myself. Yeah, I, I love you. I yes. love you too. No, because I will feel guilty Stop and I'll arguing. cry. Stop no, arguing. just let me do something. You don't have to do anything. So last time we're hanging out, Tatum. Christian, <laughs> let me tickle you. Uh, I'm never filming with her again. This is bad. Oh. oh. Ready? Yep. Good. Okay. All right. Wow, that's close. Benjamin, that was too close. Was Look at this. <gasps> no, no, we should get these ones. Bobby's gonna love these. All right, we got oats. Bobby loves oats. I learned geese like oats when I was at Paul's house, so I think I think Bobby will be very happy. George, look, <laughs> your oats, your oats, George. Yeah. So we're gonna give these to him. This is the most beautiful animal I've ever seen. Look at this thing. It's just so majestic. Bobbert, look at him. Dude, I could curl this thing. Dude, he's, he's so chill. <gasps> You're cradling him. Oh, oh. Hi. Hi, sir. <gasps> oh. Ah. My hand wasn't even in the water. My hand wasn't even in the water. That's not fair. That's not fair game. You can't do that. That's not cool. Ow! It's like a piranha. Oh my god. See, I wish I could get real piranhas. See, I had something kind of like a piranha. It's a Paku. Not the same thing, really, but like kind of the same thing. But like they're related, basically. But no, I want to get piranhas. See, I already have one illegal fish. I'm exposing myself here. It's a, that catfish right there. Apparently, you can't have those in Texas, but you know, honestly, it's it's whatever at this point. I, it's whatever. But I do want to get something crazy for here. Like something insane. Maybe if I can find something off. Like the black market, I don't know. I'll figure it out. The town council can at least express our side of this and why we felt that it was important, right? And give our feedback. And I mean, uh, like, but there's not even a possibility of that. So they've made their decision. The towns that are the size of ours, they don't have these types of restrictions necessarily. So I had plenty of data to present to them, but nobody asked. It was literally, they made their own decision and nobody asked. So I think that that's the frustrating part about it is, is that we now have to find property outside of, to move these four animals to, because nobody even took the time to look. It's just a matter of politics, right? If the town council walked over here and saw the size of the yard, walked over here and saw the cleanliness of the yard, talked to the neighbors, they would understand we're not posing a threat. We're not causing any issues. We're not doing anything. It just so happened that somebody walked behind our house, saw an animal that they thought wasn't supposed to be here and made a phone call, but they literally made a decision from the comfort of their seats without even investigating what was going on here. They were only more concerned about what was going on in other cities. And I think that is the most disappointing part. Mm -hmm. Well, right, and that's what I'm saying is we have them on video, both the police chief and the animal control officer saying they were on our side to push for this to be changed. The animals are definitely very well taken care of. They're all rescues. So. I just don't want them to be taken from me. Yeah, and I understand that. that. Yeah. So, but unfortunately, someone made a complaint. We got a job to do. Yeah. But no, uh, I, yeah, I wanted to be able to talk to you guys about everything. I'm, I'm personally rooting for you. I, oh, I think it's awesome God. that they're in the city, and uh, thank you. I hope it all works you, out for you. Were you the guy that rescued all the goldfish? Yes, That's what I thought. That politicians shouldn't have the say so in animal husbandry when you have a professional group of people managing animal husbandry in your town why would somebody that's sitting on a council seat be able to make a determination when they're not animal experts and that was a that's a direct quote from animal control that like i said that they gave us they were like we were right behind you this whole time we we're going to push for it we're going to try to get this changed because we think that it's an old outdated ordinance we are on your side. And then we find out that, well, once again, politics took over and nobody really cared what anybody had to say other than what the council members had to say. So the other thing is, I, I don't, I thought honestly that 
the whole idea behind having an ordinance change was it was supposed to be a public hearing not done behind closed doors i mean they didn't even listen we would have had the neighbors show up and tell them hey we don't have any issues there's no smell there's no problems there's not a noise problem there's nothing we literally have no problems in fact had we had an eight foot privacy fence on the back side nobody would have ever even known the animals were here i guess that's where the frustration is is that we literally are willing to pay to have somebody come inspect it but nobody wants to listen to it so like i said i don't have any other way to prevent this but i i just need them to be prepared for the influx of emails phone calls and absolute hatred that's going to be brought towards them i mean it's just a, it's like yeah it's just a very bad situation i mean we're talking about two animals that are no bigger than dogs and i mean they're they're literally so small it's just because of the classification of them they're being determined to be livestock which is not true so that's that's the sad part about it is is that nobody even took the time to come talk to us other than the animal control officer who swore up and down he was on our side you know i i would like to understand what the appeal process is to this if there is one i mean i feel like we should have a voice since i pay a crap load of taxes to this city and i feel like in this situation i had zero voice i i got a chance to write an email that maybe wasn't even in depth enough but nobody came back and asked for more information nobody asked me any questions nobody called me nobody gave me anything so i i really feel like i've been cheated by the system a little bit is that literally my only conversation has been with you one time and a decision's been made and the only people affected by it is us like i said if they want to talk about it that's great but i under i need to understand what the appeal process is because i don't know what we're going to do i mean you literally just took our business right out from underneath us yeah who made the decision the town council without talking to us <laughs> oh, i gotta hurry oh, that was a bad decision on their part the animal control's response was on our side i have that on video Hi. Sorry this isn't a normal, fun, sporadic video, like your average vlog that I upload because, uh, you know, the city wants to screw me over. Sick. Basically, to sum up that phone call for you, we were supposed to have three meetings, I believe. Three. Uh, two private, one public. And they just decided not to do any of them and make their decision on their own without giving me a voice whatsoever. Or reaching out to me or contacting me by any means. So, that's really cool. I find that quite disrespectful. Uh, especially because these are grown-ups in a town council. I figured they would know how to run this a little bit better. Apparently they don't, but hey, that's none of my business. I, uh, I'm not gonna give you guys a phone number yet or an email yet to go uh, do your thing, but still trying to figure some stuff out. I'm still trying to figure some stuff out. I'm not necessarily sad at the moment. I'm angry, pissed. <laughs> it's because I just, I feel like that was really unprofessional not to give me a voice whatsoever. That makes me mad. But if everyone could do me a huge favor and share this video to get the message spread about the whole concept, that would be fantastic. If it comes to it and we really do have to buy land really quick, uh, which financially that's not gonna be my favorite thing to do, but if I need to do it, I can do it. So a, a great way to support, uh, if you guys didn't see, we did launch a new drop new line of merchandise that is a great way to help support that way uh i think we might do like a shirt formed around the whole situation to promote to uh, i i don't know and i'm trying to put everything we make off it back into this uh fight against trying to change a law which is stupid but yeah that sucks with that being said all the animals are doing fantastic craig it's a really weird stance whatever works honestly whatever works hi guys hi hi everybody waddles hey hey waddles hi how did you do that how did you manage to you broke it you literally, you broke it. No, no. Waddles. <gasps> okay. No, Waddles, don't eat the camera. Waddles, stay back. Tickle boots. Good job, Waddles. Thanks for breaking everything, Bobby. Shh. With that being said, though, I did announce the giveaway winner. Ow. Uh, how's it going? Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Ugh. I did a giveaway. Like a week ago. Here's the winner. Give me one second. Give me one second. Here's how I'm gonna do this. Okay. Just picked a random person. He just DM'd me. Said I did all the things for the giveaway. I checked. He did. His name's Jaden. It's uh, Instagram handle yk. Jaden with two N's. So DM me, give me your PayPal cash out, something like that. But yeah, uh, now we're doing a huge giveaway, much bigger. But you'll find out about that in a few days. So congrats. So congratulations, like I said, shoot me a DM. But with that being said, we're trying our best. I don't want my animals to get taken. I love all of them. Like, especially like, I, like this girl was being abused and we rescued her and now they want to take her from me. Like that, dude, that's not cool. Like look at those guys. They're so graceful. They're like just big dogs. What's wrong with that? But guys, uh, like I said, no one's touching my animals. I, just, I, I can't let it happen. So we'll figure it out. I love all of you guys, and I'll catch you next time on the next episode of Fanatic. Peace.
Oh yeah. 